Jen, last night, two 32-year-old men, both from New Haven, uh, suffered non-fatal gunshot wounds, fortunately. But uh, there are 13 homicides so far this year in New Haven, far ahead of last year's pace. And folks on Lilac Street, where last night's shoot, shooting occurred, very, very upset and nervous about what happened. This woman, uh, one of her tenants, she told us, who's married with children, sitting in this car when it was shot at just before 9 p.m. Police say it's unclear if the shooting was targeted or where the other shooting victim was at the time shot spotter alerted police to this incident. His wife was getting ready to go to work and she couldn't go to work because she had to take her husband to the hospital. It's still too early in the investigation. Um, but we have seen stolen cars, driving neighborhoods, shooting. Um, it's unclear if that's what we have at this point. We do have some video we're going through. The trauma, the impact of these incidents is deep and significant. We as a community and as a city are doing everything we can to respond to the uptick in violence. And Assistant Chief Carl Jacobson said the city has calmed a bit over the last couple of weeks. He says since the third week of May, when during that week there were seven shootings and three homicides, which is due in part to some significant gun arrests, including ones involving juveniles. Ahead of